until this year. I missed the first four, and then I played a couple and did a little things, and then I missed a couple after that. So definitely been frustrating, but um, at the end of the day, it's football, it's injuries. I mean, you can't really control them. So just I've tried to control what I can control, and when I get my opportunity to go out there, make the most of it. Apologies if you've already been asked this, but you've got an NFL decision to make. Sort of what factors are you looking into into making that decision? Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of them. Um, got to sit down and weigh out the pros and cons of everything. Um, but at the end of the day, just kind of play this game, focus on this one, and get through it, and sit down with my family and make the decision. What have you seen out of Carson this year and how he's grown as a player, as a quarterback, and from your own experience, that so after that first year you make contributions and you sort of know what to expect from that. How did that help you going into that offseason? And so, say that again? So like your first season where you were contributing, I think that 2021 season, because you registered in 2020. Yeah. Having made those plays, gotten that game experience, just how did that help give you confidence going into that next offseason in terms of, all right, now I know what to do to be a starter and how I can continue to get better? Yeah, I mean, anytime you can get some like game reps under your belt, I feel like you get a little more comfortable, mm -hmm. comfortable every single time yeah. uh, playing some big games. You're like, okay, I've been here before. I've yeah. done this. I know what to expect. You're not shell shocked when you, when you walk out there. Um, so I feel I feel like just the reps of being in the bank and uh, just playing in games, and you know, especially if you can make some plays, get your confidence yeah. up, get going. And then on the other end of that, if you don't make some plays, you're like, start, you know, stuff yeah. starts going on in your mind. But yeah. but yeah, I mean, it's really just just reps, mm -hmm. and I feel like you get more comfortable. Take. What did you see out of Carson this year in his first as a starter in, in terms of how he played and what he brought to this team? Yeah, I mean, he's grown so much. I feel like every single game. I mean, I, I see it each day in practice. I see it. Like, he makes another throw, and I'm like, he's like, that was that was crazy. And that's just that's just what he does. Yeah. Uh, he stepped in as a, as a bigger role as a leader. Um, he leads their offense upset it all season. We go as he goes. Mm. And I feel like any good good quarterback has that quality. Mm. Um, so he's done a great job with that. Dylan Bell's a guy who I think similar to you, maybe even more so, like plays that running back position, able to do a lot of yeah. different things for this offense. What does he sort of bring to this team in this position? Yeah, he's, he's so versatile. Um, like you said, put him in the backfield, yeah. uh, put him in receiver, uh, line him up in the slot. I feel like he's done it all. Um, he's made plays at every mm. position. So it's like you're yeah. not like, – He's done so much for us, yeah. um, and he's grown so much. So uh, I'm excited about him uh, continuing to grow and make a plays, and I, I know he will. Yeah, and then you've been here since 2020. We're a key part of both those national championship teams. If this does end up being your last game, what did you love about playing for Georgia, playing for this institution, this university, and, and getting that experience? Yeah, this place has done so much for me. Um, they poured into me here. And the main thing is just playing with a great group of guys. Like, I've really, like, gained, I guess, like, 130 brothers. Yeah. Like, every single year, though, like, I've seen so many guys come in from the mm. first year with, like, like Stokes and Richard LeCount and Monty and all the, like, and then, like, Kieris and Stetson and Kenny and James Cook and, like, all those guys. I, I, I can't name them all because mm. there's been so many, but um, I've developed so many good relationships and, and guys that I know I can, can call and can count on. I hope they know the same thing. Awesome. Thanks, Vlad. Yeah, talk twice now. Uh,